Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to my channel. I am Martine and I'll be doing a reading for Pisces today. It's a money and abundance reading. So we're going to take a look at what's coming in, what could be blocking you, guidance, and all that beautiful stuff as it relates to your money and abundance. Okay, Pisces, let's look at your current energy. Current energy. Current energy for Pisces. Current energy for Pisces. Oh no, that's too much. That's too much. We're going to take this. Nine of Cups. Mm, you feel good. You're feeling high vibrational. I mean, at best. You are definitely wishes. Whatever you've been wishing for, you are one step away from getting that wish okay you see this pot of gold right here that you're jumping up you are almost to where you want to be okay just stay steady stay in the game stay steady all right and keep your vibes high keep your vibes high what's on your mind Pisces what is something happening with my cards here I don't like it all right, what is on the mind of Pisces? That's a loaded question. Okay, what's on your mind? <clears throat> what are you thinking about? What are you focused on? Mm, scattered, of course, scattered energies. <sighs> Not knowing where to go, what to do, too many choices, doing too much. Your mind is everywhere and you need to reel it in, reel it in. Get a little bit more focused, Pisces, all right? Let's look at a potential challenge, potential challenge for my Pisces people. All three of these fell out, so damn. All right. Okay, all right, all right. So we have the lovers. We have the lovers here. And then we have the four of wands. And then we have the knight of wands. Ooh, okay. So potential challenge. There is a potential challenge in the area of partnership. So I feel like some of you are being challenged in that area, maybe in a business partnership, since we're talking about money and abundance, um, there is a challenge to make a decision, to choose. And it's really hard for you um, there, because there's a lot of passion involved. Um, I feel like you're being challenged to really go after this thing that you are seeking this um, project, this partnership that you are seeking, it is going to bring you into to a state of happiness. It's going to be well received and celebrated. Okay, so there is a choice to be made. You're being challenged to make a choice, Pisces, and this choice um, is going to affect your abundance moving forward, okay? Mm. Now, 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 now. All right. How does Pisces need to take action? How does Pisces need to take action? Take action. Eight of Wands, communication, communication. This is what you need to do to take action. You need to commun communicate, open the lines of communication, um, be transparent. Um, I want to say, I want to say, it just doesn't make any sense, but I want to say it. It just, it says, I'm saying like, I'm feeling be more involved. 
that's what I'm hearing. Be more involved. I don't know how that relates, but communication is 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 how you need to take action. Okay. And I feel like I'm hearing come from your belly, come from your belly, come from your sacral chakra and or come from your solar plexus chakra. Your sacral holds your sensuality, your sexuality, your, it holds feminine energy, okay? The solar plex, on the other hand, holds masculine energy, your self-confidence, your self-worth. Um, so come from those areas in your communication. Come from those areas of your being when you are communicating with others. Okay, it will serve you well. That was the download. Boom. And that's how we need to take action. Guidance, 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 guidance. What is the guidance for Pisces? At the end of the day, the Pisces need some guidance. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm acting a little silly. That's fine. I'm, I just... Lots of things going on up in here right now. And I'm just like, gosh, what is going on? The guidance is to get out of your mind, get out of mental mental paralysis will kill you. Okay. Stop obsessing. Okay. This is the guidance. Stop obsessing and just go with your gut. Move. Go with your gut. Move from here. Okay, remember the sacral and the um, solar plexus. Move from here. Communicate from there. All right? But there's definitely a decision that needs to be made. With So in terms of abundance and money, it's coming. Nine of Cups. It's coming because you've been manifesting, you've been wishing, you know, and I feel like you've had your moments where you, your pockets were very, very well lined. Um, um, but right now, again, there needs to be a decision made so that you can further move into a more firmer, a more solid abundance foundation, okay? If that makes sense. We're going to get a message from the angels. The angels of abundance. Gratitude list is the message. Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centered in your heart instead of fixated on the worries in your mind. I said that. I, I said that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just I just love these little these freaking confirmations. Okay. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. All right. Pisces, focus on being, having the attitude of gratitude. Um, and if I know my Pisces, I know y'all are grateful. Y'all are very grateful. Um, just That's just by nature. Okay. So the focus on that. And um, some people have a gratitude journal. I mean, I journal and then I just I just have a regular journal and I just dump all of my writings in that journal, whether it be gratitudes, affirmations, what happened that day, whatever. But if you need to sit down and write down the things that you're grateful for, and if that helps, then do that too. 
All right, because having that attitude of gratitude puts you at the, the frequency where you're attracting more abundance, where you're attracting opportunities, where you're attracting money. You're attracting everything that you need in order to move forward. All right, so that is the message, Pisces. I hope that it resonated. And let me know if it did in the comments. Um, again, to book a personal reading with me, go to my website, martinefelton.com. Thank you. I love you all for watching and I'll see you next time.